just wanted to share an update. This has just been a theme for me recently, like the last, I want to say, two, three days where... This is so funny, but you know who watched my Instagram story again? And I was just kind of unfazed by it. I was like, okay. I was like, interesting. But then I was like, yeah, that's really weird because, I mean, it's not weird. It's just for a long time, all I wanted was something from him, like anything, you know? Just to know that he cared or like felt something like sorry or he missed me or he regretted his behavior, like anything, anything. And all I'm getting, I mean, clearly he's still hung up to some extent, otherwise he wouldn't be searching me and watching my story, knowing full well that I can see that he's watching my story. But I don't think I want anything from him anymore. There'll always be a part of me that wonders, you know, about a few things. But I used to, you know, like the early days I would think about everything, like all of my anger, right? I would think about how much I, I would like, I would smack him or like scream at him or say nothing at all or just break down crying or honestly just have sex with him again. It was really weird. All of it, like I felt all of it. Just this pent up energy and constant anger. I just carried it with me. I would say until very recently. And I, I wouldn't say that it's completely gone, but I just feel different nowadays. I think it's to do with meeting somebody else and they reminded me that I never needed to go back to move forward. I'm grateful for that. Everything I need, everything that I want, I can access. And I don't need to have a conversation with him to feel that. I don't need him to say sorry. I don't need him to try and explain because it wouldn't mean anything. It wouldn't mean anything. I mean, okay, maybe I'd understand. But what happened happened still there there is no am i supposed to empathize when you couldn't even show me that empathy to begin with we there's nowhere to go from that there's nothing to gain so he could say whatever do whatever but Emotionally, he's just kind of dead to me now. That's also kind of me. I'll take it. I feel a lot more free. I feel so bound to him and everything that happened. I guess that's more of a breakthrough, you know? about a week or so ago, I was feeling crappy that I wasn't over it enough, as for my terms, you know. But I had another instance recently where I was disrespected, and I saw the way that I reacted to that, or responded to it, and it showed me that I have changed. I'm colder, meaner, but not for the sake of it, not to flex, 
just because I see myself as somebody worth standing up for. And I think it's been a series of events, not just what happened, that's made me realize that. I'm important too. How I feel is important too. I'm a whole being, an individual being that deserves to be seen and respected and taken care of and made to feel safe and um, I'm doing the work on myself to re-realize, just realize that and, and really be about it. It's not cheesy, you know, it sounds cheesy when you say it, but it's Like, I, sometimes I'm looking at myself and I can't believe that I ever believed otherwise about myself. Oh, that's really sad. But it's okay. The whole of 2023, the whole of the last year really has just been a huge, huge test on my self-worth and sort of bringing me back to myself. It's been like life has just stripped things away and really made my made me look at myself in the mirror, which has obviously been really painful at times. But I wouldn't have it any other way. I feel awake. And anyway, that's going into other stuff. But yeah, like you can watch my story, you know, um, it's just amusing, I guess. Uh, I do wonder, like, what, do you want to say something? I don't think he has the guts to say anything, to be honest. I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> it doesn't matter, though. Like, I... I think, I think everything I was looking for, like that relief, I have that now, you know, like, I, I, I don't need him. I don't, I don't mean that in a, I don't mean a man, or I don't, I don't mean it like that, I just, I don't, I don't need him. That's refreshing. <laughs> I need me. I'll admit that's cheesy, but yeah. I need me. More than anything. And I've realized that. No one can take care of me the way that I can, really. I mean, my parents are great, but there's an emotional side of it, which, because of their generation and culture, that they just don't get, and that's okay. But also, even if you remove that, no one else is listening to you and your inner music as much as you are. And so when I realized that, like, self-care for example that's a recent concept that's come up in therapy oh my god what are you talking about but like i'm responsible for me and my life and that's not just like what i do for a job and making money um and like a legacy or anything like that it's just the day-to-day -day. you know the choices i make that's up to me too and it's not that to put pressure on myself, be like, it's all up to you, you know, you have to be perfect, but also in the exciting way that I get to mold my life, and that includes the people that are in it, and I think for so long I, I just accepted things without question, because I didn't believe that I deserved to question things, I thought I should just accept whatever came my way and just, you know, be grateful for it. But 
But I feel like that's a huge scarcity mindset thing as well. You know, it's like, um, if you have no food, you'll pretty much take anything you can get. If you have no clothes, you'll pretty much take anything so you don't have to walk around naked. And that's understandable. But with a lot of things in life, you can't, to live in alignment with yourself, you can't look at things like that. You need to be like, does this work for me? If not, that's okay. Something else will. I'm getting more comfortable saying no. No, I don't like this person. I don't feel like being close to them. No, I can't work an extra shift because I have other things that I need to do and I don't owe anyone an explanation. You know? No, I don't feel like bending over backwards to be nice to everybody when not everybody wants to do the same for me. Like, I'm polite, but um, I'm not responsible for other people's inner worlds and their attitudes towards life and people. I do my part to influence. When someone's not listening and they don't want to hear it, then they don't want to hear it and I'm not going to ruin myself. Also, if I'm being like, even if it's in a jokey environment, if I'm being ganged up on and I highly disagree with the premise of the joke, well, I'm going to say something. Because if you're going to take that joke and you're going to run with it, at least base it off a truth. But also know to myself, not giving into like whims or temptations or old desires of um, comfort. Standing up to myself and being like, this doesn't serve me. Choosing peace. Not worrying about explaining myself to other people, things might be unconventional, but they're mine. It's my business. I'm in the gym. What I do with my body is none of your concern. If, I, if I'm if i doing something incorrectly that could injure me, by all means, tell me, thank you. I would do the same for you, but beyond that, what I do is none of your business and vice versa. I just have a lot more I guess it's come through a lot of heartbreak and devastation and looking at myself and looking at the shit that I've created in my life but it's okay that's why I don't I don't need him to make me feel desirable wanted alive not a lot like I was looking for peace in his chaos mm. I'm gonna dive into that a little more in therapy but I don't need that just because you're familiar with something, it doesn't mean that that's what's healthiest for you. Sometimes the thing that you're most familiar with is the thing that damages you the most. And I think I've been fucked with enough. I don't want to hurt myself anymore. Not because I'm afraid of pain, but because I just, I'm too precious. <laughs> I deserve protection. I just feel like I'm advocating for myself better now. And... I'm good. I'm okay. I'm on the right track. Yeah.
take now and we still got a long way to go He knows what he's doing. And he's got a wicked sense of humor, I'll tell you that.